thought I would do a video on baby products because as you may or may not know I now have an 11 month old daughter and obviously there's a dizzying array of lots and lots of different products and you're never quite sure what would be good, what wouldn't be good. So I thought I'd just select a few products that are my current favourites, which I haven't, I may add, bought all at once. They're just bit by bit. First thing I want to talk about is nappies. Obviously babies go through a lot of them. And I think from what I can remember, that it's something crazy, like it takes 500 years for a nappy to biodegrade which is quite shocking and also I think the nappies are one of the highest contents of landfill. It's quite shocking, it's quite worrying. Reading a magazine called Gurgle, which is a lovely contemporary baby magazine, I originally found it in mother care for something like a pound and you could still get it relatively cheaply. I think there's an option of having a Gurgle magazine without a gift, which is cheaper obviously, and then having one with a gift. And in Gurgle magazine, it covers all sorts of topics, most of which are really, really useful. And it mentioned a nappy brand called Kitten Kin, which is originally founded by Emma Bunton, originally from the Spice Girls. Really like the design. I really like the ease of use. They have four different designs. They have a bear, a panda, a tiger, and also a fox. And I've got two here. Absolutely love the design as well. I love the illustration. I find them easy to use. Obviously, much better for the environment. What is really useful as well about these nappies is instead of having to think, oh, I'm running out, I've got to get some more, you can subscribe to these. So you get X amount of nappies for a month. They come to the door. You don't have to worry. There they are. Absolutely brilliant. Really helpful to have that because having to keep rushing out to get nappies, especially when you've got a newborn, you're absolutely exhausted, you've got a lot going on, just to have the, that regular delivery is really useful. So I would definitely commend them. I've been using them for quite a while. I've not had any problems, there's been no leaks. Absolutely brilliant, really like the range, really would highly recommend. You do pay a bit more, but it, I feel that it's worth it. And it's not as if your baby is gonna be in nappies, well, I hope not, for the rest of their life. It's just, a short period of time. Also obviously looking at things like Molly has just started weaning and we've been trying to get her go going from the man bottles to beakers. We're having luck with water in beakers but for some strange reason when she has milk she doesn't like it in a beaker. She still likes it in a bottle. We looked at quite a few beakers. We had Kath Kidston one, too chunky, we had a cow design again too chunky too heavy for her to hold where she's so little and eventually we actually went to Ikea and we found this little cup it's really light it's really easy to use and also what's even more useful and a lot of cups don't have this actually is obviously a little clear bit so you can see how much water is in there she loves this cup in fact I wish I got some more and of course it being Ikea I think it was something like pound fifty. bargain Another thing as well, when you have a baby, obviously when you have a newborn they say, oh, you're not to use baby wipes because I think where the newborn skin is so sensitive, it's not a good idea. Where she's older, we've moved on to baby wipes. I like to kind of go for gentle baby wipes, unscented wipes, but I've also found today the Johnson's baby wipes. And at the moment they're doing an offer where if you get four packs, you can get a free stalk toy, which I think is really lovely, but definitely worth picking up again you can pick these up from anywhere the other thing as well is I'm a big reader I like to read a book to her every night it's great fun it's bonding she enjoys it I enjoy it most books you can either get relatively cheaply from say the supermarket but I've also found that if you go into some of the charity shops you can pick up some really beautiful books for for nothing and of course, what I do read her um, sometimes, but not too much, is my own book, which a lot of you are already aware of, which is Rabbits and the Nighttime Habits, which is this one. I may also say that I'm at Bebuccino in Newport on Monday, so I'll be meeting and greeting, I hope, people and chatting and signing some of my books. 
if you want to buy this book and you can't make Bebuccino, you can go to my website of which I'll put down below, a link below. The other thing I must mention as well, some of you may not be aware, is my health visitor came round about a month ago and she gave me this little pack and in it are things like Babies Love Books and there's a couple of books in there so it's great if you haven't already started reading. I'm not sure if you don't have a health visitor, although you sh should have, you could probably contact them or ask the book trust or something like this. I think it's just a lovely idea, really nice. Other thing that's going on at the moment is the sales are starting to come in. I don't like to spend too much on baby clothes because obviously they go out of them really quickly. And if you're savvy enough, you can get a lot of things in the sale, second hand, etc. I picked up this really beautiful little dress for her, which was half price. I think it's about six pounds from Sainsbury's, two Sainsbury's. And in it, just to save her modesty, because a lot of dresses don't have these, is some little pantaloons, some little knick and nappy nudes. I've got some other bits as well. And when you have a baby, if you don't already know, you do end up going through so many outfits. It's it's just worth getting a few relatively cheaply because they spill stuff and it, it's a messy business having a baby and I don't normally go into the shop but I went into Matalan a few weeks back and I found these really cute little light summery dungarees I don't know if you can see there and they're quite easy to take apart they're all buttoned up it's all buttoned up on the trousers not too many buttons some poppers and just a really cute thing to have, especially where it's been so hot, just put her in something light. Obviously I've got this rolled up and I find it a lot easier if I roll these up, these bodysuits. I can't remember where I found this tutorial, it might have been on YouTube or Facebook or something. And I just thought, you know what, that's quite a nifty idea. If you want me to show you how to do one of these, to roll it up like this, then please let me know in the comments below and I will do a little video on how to do it, it's really not that hard. This one is another Matalan buy, it's a multi-pack, I think there's about five bodysuits in there. Really like the design, it's very summery. And it's basically, obviously it's still, it says love bug on it, little bugs on it. There's also a pink polka dot one and I love mum, I love dad sort of designs. Again really nice and Matalan is good and I must admit I am a huge fan of Sainsbury's too because you can get such lovely designs from all the supermarkets for all the baby clothes. I found that Sainsbury's has probably been the most top one. Their designs are lovely, they're not expensive. Again, I would highly recommend them. I do get a lot of stuff from there when I can afford it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about that. The other thing as well is talking about environment and about nappies and waste, etc. I'm a huge fan of Method, the washing machine is on the go a lot. When I was single it used to be a couple of washes, a couple of washes, I don't know, twice a week, three times a week, maybe four max. Now it's the washing machine is on every day. Uh, maybe I was a dirty girl, I, I, I don't know, but uh, anyway. I really like Method, I really like Method products because I'm also aware of having loads of chemicals around Molly. Uh, it started even when I was pregnant, I wouldn't really use many chemicals. In fact, I didn't even paint my nails much at all when I was pregnant. And I've just noticed that Method have brought these out. I don't know how long they've had them out. Absolutely love the smell, this is a laundry liquid. There's three different ones. This one is peony, there is lavender, there is another one called Orchard something, a green one. And at the moment, or they were on offer at Sainsbury's for six pounds, usually about nine to 10 pounds, which is quite expensive. But as they're on offer, I was quite tempted. I don't tend to use washing conditioner, washing powder. I would just put a capful or two of this in the machine and the clothes smell lovely. And again, it's great for the environment. So if you see it on offer, definitely give it a go. Um, I was also gonna mention if anybody fancies doing a collaboration with me, can you please let me know, either message me or again comment below. It would be great, maybe do something a bit bit fun. It would be good to have some company on one of these videos, just for a laugh. 
and I think that's it for now. If you want to see anything else or you want to see you've got any questions or you want some advice or you want me to do another video on something baby related, please let me know. Even if it's anything from pregnancy to labour, anything at all or just, yeah, anything you'd like me to put, uh, anything you'd like me to vlog as long as it's clean and let me, then let me know below and thank you for watching. Bye.